All right, so test four, everybody. This is our fourth YouTube video. Um, this is putting together a lot that we already knew that we already tested on. Like remember, you had to know your negatives for the last test. You still have to know those for this test. Make sense? Okay, you also have to know your equations to do the inequality. So it's kind of building, building, building for this test. All right, here we go. So coming all the way from Compton is LeBron and Daddy Longlegs. Okay, very good. Okay, pick a color, any color, sir. Uh, blue. Blue, all right, blue. All right, what are you going to do first, sir? Uh, Mister, this is Mr. LeBron. You find the co-star extra and superstar. Okay. And then okay, the, go ahead. the you got the uh, minus 6 on the extra. Well, give me the superstar close to an extra. Part, okay, please. so the Y is the superstar. Yes. The 3 is the co-star. Do we agree? Yes. yes. And, the, and the 6 is extra. Yes, okay. What do we do first? So then you do, you do the opposite of adding. So you do minus 6, which would be negative 6. Okay, and if we do it on one side. You, you do it on the other side. Yeah, what's that called? Do -do. The doo doo rule. Okay, good. And then you do scoreboard for 10 and negative 6, and you get positive 4. Okay. Now, by the way, this is one of those those times, it doesn't happen that much, but where it's actually just subtraction stuff. So you could have done just 10 minus 6 is 4, but if you did this whole thing, you would still get the right answer. Good guys win by 4. And All then, right, next step. And then you multiply 4 by 3. Okay, so do you see how I copied down, the sixes cancel out, but this is still there. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Okay, so I want to see this on everybody's paper. Y over 3 is still there. So then we multiply by 3 because we want to get rid of this divide by 3. Make sense, Mr. LeBron? Yeah. Okay, so this cancels. And you get positive 12. Okay, are we done? Yes. Yeah. We are, but we want to check our work. Why do we want to check our work? Yeah, because we go home and we say, Mom, Dad, I got 100%. And they're like, what? And you're like, yeah. And how do you know? And you say, because I check my work. All right. Okay, so how do we check our work? Uh, I totally forgot, I'm going to be honest. It's okay. So who knows how we check our work? Logan does. Logan does. Uh, go ahead. Uh, wait, I gotta remember your code name. Her code name is Star Starbell. What do you say, Starbell? How do we check our work? Yeah. Do negative six minus four. Wait a second. Oh no, you're you're looking at number two for number one. Twelve, right? Twelve. Yeah. Okay. How do we test it? Right, so we put it inside where the y is, right? So 12 over 3. Plus 6. Mm -hmm. And then you do... What does it say in the problem? Equal to? Equal to 10. Right, okay, so what she did there, she wasn't near the mic, everybody, YouTube, so I'll, I'll, I'll say what she said again in case you couldn't hear it. She said you do 12 over 3, which is same as the problem. Plus 6 is equal to 10. So that should be true if our answer is right. What's 12 divided by 3? 6. Four. No, 12 Four. divided by 3? 4. 4. Four. So 4 plus 6. Is that 10? Yeah. Yo, we had the right answer. Okay. All right. Pick a color, any color. Red. Red, okay. All right, tell me what our first step is, please. <clears throat> Positive 5 on both sides. Okay, that's true. Can you do the superstar for the people at home just to make sure they know the steps? But can you be next to the mic, please? Wrong side. <laughs> okay, so can you... Other side, other side. Or the mic won't hear you. Yeah, that's what we need. Okay, so tell me the superstar just for people at home. Who's superstar? Uh, four. Careful. Close. Z. Z, very good. Who's the close star? Four. Right, who's X? Five. You don't have to use superstar, closer, extra, but it'll help you to get the first step right, which he already knew. So the first step he said was plus five. That is correct. 
All right. So we copy back down what was left over. Okay. And then what do we get for negative 1 and 5? Uh, 4. That's correct. So we want to use a scoreboard. Five good guys and one bad guy means good guys win by four. Right, 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 right. Yes, yes, okay. yes. All right, go ahead, sir. What? Last step. You have to um, divide that side by four mm -hmm. and then that side by negative four. By negative four. Okay, very good. So we have Z is equal to? Negative one. Negative one. Are we done? No. Yes, but we want to check it, right? You know how to check it, sir? No, I don't even know, man. What? I don't even know. I didn't hear what you said. I don't even know, man. Asterisk. You're not sure? Okay. All right, let's see. How, uh, well, let's give them a hand first. This is uh, LeBron and Daddy Long. Okay, who knows how to uh, somebody else, though? Who else knows how to, 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 to check? Because we just checked it before. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Since we think the answer is negative one, we, we, the word you use, I like that word. That's a word that students may understand. The official mathy word is substitute. Everybody say substitute. Okay, good. So negative four times what? Negative four times negative one. Times negative one. And negative five mm -hmm. equals negative one. Very good. Now we need to see if that's true. So what's negative times a negative here? Uh, positive Makes a positive, positive for our Dorito man, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. So positive four, mm -hmm. negative five, four good guys and five bad guys. Negative one. Makes negative one. So we did it! Get it? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we are welcoming Mr. Strawberry and Small Human and Estrella from New York. Who's Small Human? Okay. So pick. Uh, who's doing it? Pick a color, any color. Purple. Purple. Small Human. Go ahead. What do you do first? Uh, you do the supercar, super, super, superstar, co star. Superstar, co star, extra. Okay. Who's the superstar? X. X, who's the co-star? Four. Okay, and who's the extra? Seven. Did I say that right? Yeah. yeah. Co-star, okay. Okay, good. What do we do now? You negative seven both sides. Negative seven on both, because if you do it on one side... You do it on the other. Okay. All right, go ahead. And then you get 24. Okay, four X. Don't forget to copy down the four X equals. Good. And then you divide. Five. Four. Very good. Okay, x is equal to? Six. Six. That's a horrible equal sign, Mr. Pass. We need to fix that a little bit. Okay, x is equal to six. Are we done? Yes, but we should check our answer. All right. So I could call random on this whole class, and you would all know how to check your answer, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, 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 uh. I forgot your name. Your name is, uh, well, you just go, you don't have a code name. So, Stefano, tell me how to check this. Yeah, change the extra six. So, that makes what? Four times six, right? Yeah, plus seven is equal to? 31. Okay, good. So, four times six is 24. Does 24 plus seven equals 31? Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right, you see how that works? Now look, you see how we're writing this out the whole way? You don't have to do that on the test. You can kind of do it in your head. See, look, six right here, four times six, 24 plus seven. You can kind of do it in your head. Make sense? You don't even have to really write it out. You can if you want though. And then you tell your mom and dad, okay, I already said that. Okay, number four. All right, pick a color, any color. Blue. All right. Okay. What will you do first? Superstar, co-star, extra. Okay. Who's superstar? T. Co-star. Two. Extra. 26. Negative. You're good. Okay. Now, 
You do plus 26. Plus 26. On both sides. On both sides. And then 26 plus 12 is 38. Okay, so 2t equals to 38. Okay. 2 divided by 2. And then 38. Uh-huh. So 38 divided by 2 is 19. Okay, 19. Are we done? Yes, but check your answer. But we're going to check our answer. Do you know how? Yeah. Good. All right, go ahead. So, replace the T with the 19. Okay, good. So, 2 times 19, positive. 19 minus 26, minus equals, 26 12. equals 12. 12. 12. 12. Two times. Good. So, what's 2 times 19? That's 38 minus 26. So, that should be equal to 12. Is it? Yup. Yep. All right, let's give him a hand. You look tired, man. Okay, here we go. Who's next? I lost my paper. Estrella. All right, for our next problems, we have Stefano and Starbell coming all the way from Italy. Woo! Oh, go. That's so much better. Okay, thank you, everybody. All right, sir, you want to pick a color? Blue. Blue. All right, I'm okay. just going to erase this stuff up here. Okay, go ahead, sir. What would you do first? We're going to do the Superstar Co-Star Extra. Okay, and that is? X is the Superstar. X is the Superstar. Five is the Co-Star. Five is the Co-Star. Negative one is the Extra. Okay, do we agree? Yes. Yeah. Yup. All right. First step? You're going to... Uh, Cancel out the negative one by adding one. Adding one. And you're going to do it to both sides. Yes. What's that called? Doo -doo. The doo doo rule. All right, do it on one side, do it on both sides. Here we go. The one is gone, so we still have x over 5 is equal to. And you're going to do scoreboard. We can kind of do this in our head, though. Negative 2 and 1, right? Two bad guys and one good guy. What does that make? Negative one. Makes one bad guy. Okay, now what? Then you can uh, multiply the five by five. Right, so times five on both sides here. And what does that make? That gets rid of this five. And that makes negative five. Right, negative one, yes, because we got to read on that, right? Okay, so negative one times positive makes negative five. Do we agree? Yes. Yes, but we should check it. How do we check it? Do you know, Mr. Uh, Stefano? Yeah, you do. Um, okay. You can do it. So this number, we want to test to see if it's true up there. Yeah. I gave you a hint. Do you know how to write it out? Uh, negative 1. Do you know? Negative 1. Plus negative 5 over 5 Uh huh. equals negative 2. Right, so if the answer is right, then it will equal negative 2. So that's what we're going to test. Let, let me shrink this. You want to see some magic, computer magic? Watch this. Don't you wish you could do that on your paper? But you can't. Watch. Let me see. Let me move this over, too. Move it over so we can see it a little bit. All right, so what do we do first? You're going to divide Division, the right? Yeah. Divide, sorry to interrupt there. So yes, negative 1 and negative 1, positive divided by negative. So one bad guy and one bad guy, what does that make? Two bad guys. Two bad guys, so this is perfect. All right. All right, let's hear it for Starbell. She's coming up. Come on up, Starbell. I don't know what Starbell is from, but I don't know. Tinkerbell. It's from Tinkerbell? I don't know, man. It's from a movie. From a movie. Okay. All right, pick a color, any color. Purple. Purple. Okay, purple. So tell me how you're going to do this problem. We just learned the other way to do it just today, right? So whatever you want to do. Okay, so what what you're going to do is you're going to put an arrow um, from 3 to X. Mm -hmm. And then that makes 3X. And then you're going to put another arrow from 3 to 5, and that makes 15. Yay. Positive 15. Mm -hmm. Now now what you're going to do is you're going to do superstar, 
CoStar Extra. Let me see if I can move this over so it's not, so it's next to the line here. Give me one second. Can I fix it? I did! Okay, good. Go ahead, Superstar CoStar Extra. So, Superstar is X, CoStar is 3, and Extra is 15. Do we agree? Yep. Now we have to do minus 15 on both sides. To get rid of the extras. Very good. Mm -hmm. And then you have to do good guys, bad guys. Yeah. And then so that's 9 good guys and 15 bad guys. And they win by 6. Negative 6. Negative 6. And then you have to do 3. Okay. 3x. Then you have to divide by 3 because you're... That's multiplying. And then after that, you get x equals negative 2. I think that looks good. Can we test it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we should test it out. Let's test it out. So let's see. Let me move all this down a little bit so we can see the problem. Whoa. Okay, there we go. All right, so we want to see the original problem. So how do we test it? We have to put negative 2 in the place of x. Right. So 3 parentheses negative 2 plus 5 mm -hmm. equals 9. All right. So what's our first job? We have to uh, do negative 2 plus 5. Right. So that's 2 bad guys and 5 good guys. That makes? um 3 good guys. 3 good guys. So 3 times 3, does that equal 9? Yes. Yup. All right. Let's hear it for Starville. Alright, so can anybody, anybody want to try the other way? It's actually faster. Anybody great? Should I do it? Do I try Stefano? I can do it. Kayla said she can do it. You want to try it? No, Kayla said she can do it. Want to try it, Bridge? Okay, so now instead of distributing, we're going to do Superstar Extra, Co-Star Extra from the beginning. So who is Superstar? Uh, super, Superstar. Very good. Who's the co-star? Five. Yep. Who's the extra? Three. You're right. So we get rid of first. Uh, we have to divide. Yeah, divide by. Divide by three. Three. So see, this is going to be a lot faster, actually. doesn't matter, but it is faster. Which way you do it, but it is faster. Okay, so x plus five was still there, and then nine divided by three is three. Mm -hmm. All right, now what? We have to get rid of that 5, right? So we have to do minus 5. Minus 5, minus 5. And then we have x equals, well, 3 good guys and 5 bad guys, negative 2. So we get the same answer. But it's a little shorter. Very good, very good. All right, I'm impressed. Okay, now we've got Turner coming all the way from Boston. Woo! I get Okay, pick a color, sir. Well, actually, you know, I think we're going to stick with dark. Where are you? Huh? It's right here. That's perfect, yeah. Right. Okay, so how do we do this? What's the first step? You subtract one from both sides. Okay, B. that's correct. That's the answer. Now, how do you know that? Because you have to take out the extra. Okay, good. Who's the superstar? The X. Who's the co-star? Two, negative two. And who's it? One. So minus one on both sides. Very good. So if you don't use super star close to extra, that's fine with me, but it, it does help people a lot to decide what to do first. All right, sir. I'm done. You're done. That's it. All right, back side of the page. I don't even know who's coming up next. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be Billy, Bob, and Bobby coming all the way from California. Let's hear from Billy, Bob, and Bobby coming all the way from California. Okay. Okay. So, um, this one is probably the hardest word problem on here. Select the equation that can be written for the following scenario for this word problem. Mm -hmm. All right, do you want to read the first sentence and tell us what you know? 
I like to go sentence by sentence one, one and miss. make sense out of each each sentence as it's written down. But if you have another way you do it, that's fine too. Okay, so are you Billy Bob? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, Billy Bob, tell us. Well, go ahead. When Mr. Sugar turned on her oven, the temperature inside was fifty degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, what does that tell us? Uh, that's the extra. Right. Well, we would use a certain word, right? It starts with a C. Constant number. Right. It's a constant. Everybody write that down. Since we're starting at that number of degrees, it's called a constant. Everybody say constant. 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 Yes. So constant. So therefore, we're looking for a number by itself. So we need to see 50 by itself. So which choices of uh, Billy Bob have 50 by itself? A and B. A and B, and uh, any more? Uh, no. Yeah. Oh. There's one more. A uh, C. And C. But D does not because it has 50 times M. You see that? So we're going to cross off D. It's definitely not D already from the first sentence. Okay, second sentence. A temperature begins to rise at the rate of 30 per minute. Okay, good. What does that tell us? 30 degrees per minute. That that is, uh, that that's co-star and, and superstar? Okay, that's the co-star. That's right. Now, how, what does that mean, though? Uh, that 30 is multiplied by M. Okay, good. So we want to write that down. 30 degrees. Now, well, let's think about it for a second. If we have one minute, how much did it go up, the degrees? 30. What if we had two minutes, everybody? 60. I need everybody thinking. Two minutes is what? 60. 60. Keep everybody, I want you participating. Three minutes? 90. 90. So what are we doing? We are multiplying times the number of minutes. So they're using the letter M for minutes. So that's what we're looking for. So we're looking for, so let's write it down, multiplication. Right. So times a variable. So ten minutes would be ten, ten, ten times thirty, right? Thirty m, and if m is ten, then it would be three hundred. Yes. Yeah. Times a variable. Okay. So which one of these has thirty m in it? A, B, C. All of them. All of them. That's right. So that didn't help us for our choices. Okay, last sentence. How long did it take for the oven to reach 375? Okay, what does reach tell us? Uh, greater than. Reach means greater than? I oh, know, it means equal. You're right, it means equal. It means equal. Like, if we get to something, that means we equal to it. All right, so which of these problems is equal to 375? B and C. Which one's equal to 375, though? Uh, B. Yeah, C has equals, but it's equal to the wrong thing, right? Mm -hmm. All right, that was a hard problem, so let's give it up for Billy Bob. All right, Mr. Bluey and SpongeBob are coming all the way from Bikini Bob for this one. This is SpongeBob, right? Yeah. All right, SpongeBob. Wait. What do you say? When, um, when you are solving an equality, you are multiplying or dividing by a negative. So we need to read the question first. When do you need to change the inequality sign? When is that? Uh, when you are solving the inequality. So let's do the first sentence first. Sorry, you're going a little too fast. When you are solving an inequality, comma. So if you missed this, you may have missed this first part. We didn't always repeat it when we were practicing. When you are solving an inequality. Comma, and what, Mr. Spongebob? Multiplying or dividing by a negative. And you multiply, right, or divide by a negative number. Negative number. I hope you all can read that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to put a highlight around negative because people forget that. Okay, let's hear it for SpongeBob. I know a lot of you are still writing. A lot of people are still writing. Okay, and then let's.
let's do Terrence and Kayla. All coming from Texas. Woo! Let's hear it. That's better. Okay. All right. What? Well, you tell us what it looks like, right? Okay. And which way the arrow's going, okay? Okay. All right. So graph the inequality. So what can you tell us, Kayla, about this? What can you tell us about it? What does the answer look like? Oh, um, you like circle it? Like okay, the five? you put a circle on what number? Negative five. Negative five. <laughs> Good. Now we have to know, is it an open circle or a filled in circle? Filled in circle. Filled in. See, you know how to do this. Very oh. good. Now, can you tell us how you how do you know that it's a filled in circle? Because of the sign. Because of the line. You're right. Yeah. So this line right here. Now the line underneath. Now what's Mr. Pass's little trick? Um, that the sign is pointing to the direction that the negative five is. That's for the direction oh. of the line. I'm asking for the if it's filled in or not. Who remembers the trick? The cost of the plate. A plate, okay? So okay. if there's a plate under here, then we've got a plate full of food, and we're not going to drop any of our spaghetti. But if there's no plate, like this one, the number 11, then you're going to drop all your spaghetti. Get it? Yes. All right. So is there a plate here, uh, Miss Kayla? Yes. Yes. So that means we have a filled-in dot here, okay? And then which way is it? Is it going left or right? Left. She pointed to the left. You two can't see that. All right, so she Oops. pointed to the left. And that is the way that that arrow is pointing. Also, we know that it, R is on the smaller side of the sign. And a little shortcut since the variable is on the left is it looks like it's pointing to the left. Very good. All right, number 11. Um. You put an open circle at negative six. Open circle. Do we agree, everyone? Yes. Yes. No plate, right? No plate. Okay. No pasta. And then you. The arrow's going to the right. To the right. And there we go. Very good. How do you know it's going to the right? Um, the sign. Looks like it's pointing to the right. The sign looks like it's pointing to the right. Or N is on the bigger side of the sign, right? Which means that it's all the numbers that are bigger. Okay, let's give him a hand. That was very good. All right. Cupcakes is coming all the way from Ohio. Let's hear for a cupcake. about this inequality. So what's the first thing you want to look for in an inequality problem? Uh, if the co-star is a negative or a positive. Right, so we want to look at this co-star. What is the co-star? Negative 4. Right, so negative 4. Is that positive or negative, everyone? Negative. negative. Therefore, at the end, we know we're going to have it pointing the other direction. So we can do that first. That's the first thing I would do. Did everybody do that? Good. All right. Now, we already know that that's the co-star. Who's the extra? Uh, negative 6. Okay, good. And how do we get rid of it? Uh, plus 6 or positive 6. That's exactly right. Okay, so that the negative 6 is gone. It's less than 16. Okay, now what? Uh, you divide. Divide by? Negative 4. Divide by negative four, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm just trying to trying to make sure you're, you're confident. Very good. We're going to divide by negative four. And when you divide by a negative, it changes that inequality sign. All right. So 16 divided by negative four? Is negative four. Is negative four. Any questions? No. We can check this, but we already checked a lot of problems in this. YouTube, we don't have to do it. Let's give him a hand. He wasn't even prepared. That was very impressive. Very impressive. All right, now we got Jenny and Taylor. 
Coming all the way from Texas. No, put the next. Oh, Jenny and Taylor. First thing we're going to do is look at that co-star. What is the co-star? Four. Four. Very good. Is that positive or negative? Positive. Positive. So that means our sign is going to stay the same. Same. Good. All right. Now what? Let's just write our superstar, co-star, and extra. Okay. First step. You do positive seven to get rid of the yeah. extra. You got it. You got it. So positive seven on both sides. And, and over four is still there. And then six bad guys and seven good guys. What does that mean? So you add. I mean, six 13. bad guys and seven good guys. 13. No. Mm -hmm. Careful. Do six bad work. guys and seven good guys. Who wins? Good guys. By how many points? Seven. No. Oh. How many points do they win by? <laughs> One. One. Careful, careful. Okay. Now, what do we do next? Do you know? And then after you divide. That's division. We need to do the opposite of division. You multiply. We need to multiply. So times 4 on both sides. N is equal to? 4. 4. All right. Let's hear it. Okay, it wasn't that bad. All right. So should we say goodbye, YouTube? Yeah. Later. Later? Later, homies.